Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15. More pain than anybody could imagine. Immediately you smell your flesh burning. I was addicted to drugs way before I ever came out of the hospital. I had to have them. I, I couldn't live without them. I could do them and, and still kind of act and lead a normal kind of life. I had to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. He's taken away all my addictions, all my pain. If I could have had Vietnam War and win it and come back without any wounds and not have God, I wouldn't want it. I wanted to die. More pain than anybody could imagine. Tommy served 11 months in combat duty in Vietnam, but just three weeks before he was to return home, his exhausting and unforgettable tour of duty ended abruptly when he stepped on a landmine. Immediately you smell your flesh burning. I didn't know, I knew what had happened to me. I didn't know how bad I was hurt. Broke both of my legs. I remember grabbing a bamboo tree with my right hand. I couldn't hold on to it and I just started sliding down it. I just crumbled to the ground and my legs just crumbled under me. The war was over for Tommy. With broken legs and extensive nerve damage to his body, he was discharged from the Army with honors. However, his personal battle with pain was just beginning. Pain was so terrible, it was unreal. I, they, I went through about three different operations on my legs. I'm still taking shrapnel out, and they leave all the wounds open, and it's... It's very humiliating, too, very humiliating. You depend on somebody else for, you're just like a baby. Can't even go to the bathroom. Can't get you anything to drink, eat. And I just want, I wanted to die. Tommy's only desire for living came in periodic doses of morphine and Demerol. I was addicted to drugs way before I ever came out of the hospital. I had to have them, I, I couldn't live without them. Tommy left the hospital with prescription drugs readily at his disposal, but he resorted to street drugs for quick relief. For some reason, the drugs that I've done in the hospital, it made it easier for me to do the drugs that were out here. I could do them and, and still kind of act and lead a normal kind of life. Even when I went to work, I had to be on drugs just to get up and go to work. I could, there was so much pain involved. And it, it stayed that way, it stayed that way all my life. Uh, I didn't, I thought I was going to be on drugs the rest of my entire life. In the wee hours of the morning, Tommy's desperation for drugs was matched by his increasing need for direction. That's when he found Robert Tilton Ministries. He related to me what the Word of God says. I had to accept Jesus Christ as my Savior. He got me to realize what the Word was saying to me. I did not understand it till I heard him say it. I get up there and I put my hand on the screen when he said to do it. I gave my life to the Lord. And I gave my whole life. I gave him all my addictions, all my problems, all my pain, all my friends, all my family. I gave him my dog, my house, my car, everything, especially my finances. Tommy's willingness to lay down his life for Jesus Christ was met by God's mercy in deliverance from the chains that held him bound. I laid down the cigarettes first, and then the pain went out of my life, and then the drugs went out of my life. He's taken away all my addictions, all my pain. Just, he reconstructed my whole life. And this, to me, is a better feeling than it would have been to win the Vietnam War and come back without any wounds whatsoever. To have this, if I could have had the Vietnam War and win it and come back without any wounds and not have God, I wouldn't want it. I, I'd have to have this. I'd take this above anything I've ever experienced. Tommy will always remember his buddies who never came home from Vietnam. As for him, he is thankful he is a survivor because now he knows Jesus. I used to be a physically a mental cripple in the United States Army. I was a soldier in the United States Army that way. And now I'm on fire, healed, 
soldier in the army of God. Offer unto God thanksgiving and pay thy vows unto the Most High and call upon me in the day of trouble. I will deliver thee and thou shalt glorify me. Psalms 50, 14 and 15.